Hi everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to make an electroscope, a simple device used to detect the presence of an electric charge. So let's get started. So the materials needed are electrical tape, an ample set of copper wires, aluminum foil that you will cut into this shape using scissors with a hole, a glass jar or any kind of container, some plastic to cover the jar, and some pliers. And you also need to use your brain. I'm trying to learn how to make an electric charge as we will see with an ordeal later on. So first, take the pliers and copper wire and bend the copper wire into shape resembling a spiral in the middle and a hook at the bottom. Okay, so update. Nakailang tries ako. So, napuputol siya. So, kailangan mo talaga na makapal. The wire. So, ito na ang, ang pinakang last final product is natin. Make a hole in the plastic lid. I use careful use of the soldering iron. Please do this with an adult supervision if you have never done this before. And insert the copper wire through the plastic lid. Put and hang the aluminum foil on the lid. Attach the piece to the top of the jar, covering it with some electrical tape to attach. Add more electrical tape around and try to make an air right seal. I've also flattened the copper wire from before to give it more surface area. And that's it. You have now a functioning electroscope. Try it out and see how it works. And as you might have guessed, it doesn't. Well, there are a few things that you need to keep in mind. Try to look for wires from any supply that could potentially be thicker and conductive. And make sure the aluminum foil is conductive as well. You could also alternatively use gold leaf, a copper sheet, or any kind of thin conductive metal sheet. Make sure you rub a material that can withhold static electricity and or uh, negative charge. Samples are from this table, a styrofoam, second wrap, polyurethane, polyethylene, polypropylene, vinyl, silicon, tough. So some best combination of static electricity are some skin polyester clothes, combining your hair with material and fur and plexiglass rod. So this is from the website, I will link below. Finally, when in doubt, you should always try and try again. Expect to make mistakes and not to try at all. After we apply the charge to our rubbed object, we then see the foil repel each other as negative charge comes into the wire. We then remove the negative induced charge when we touch the electroscope, making the foil touch each other again. So there we have it. We now have an actual functioning electroscope. <laughs> Thanks for watching.